You can mix the uh, egg. egg. So I'm just copying now what yep. he does. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, put inside, right? Yep. Then eat. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's really nice. Uh, see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Elio and I'm from Italy, from Rome. I'm 29 year years old. My father is Japanese and my mom is French, but uh, I live in Rome. And uh, now it's my second time in Japan. I'm enjoying uh, sukiyaki. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Susanna, I'm 23. And um, I'm Italian, like I'm not I'm so interesting like him, I guess. Mm, so I'm from Rome as well. Why are you guys are speaking this? Uh, well? So well. You just stay in uh, some other countries. Um, no, I, I actually did, um, I live in Vienna in Austria. Mm -hmm. I study there. I, I got my degree um, this June and okay. this is my trip for my degree. Like it's a gift from my parents um, to Japan. I lived abroad, I lived in Berlin. And, Austria, um, like in Germany and Austria and France. Wow. Um, so I, I guess I had to, to learn uh, some languages <laughs> to, to survive. Oh. <laughs> I don't speak since a while. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but that's a good thing about living in Europe. Because yeah. in Europe it's easy you to get access around, to yes. other yeah. countries. So. Rome is very beautiful yeah. to see it once in your life. So right. you must see. If you have the chance. Yeah, we recommend Rome. Yeah. She, she's, she's from uh, the most like beautiful place in Rome. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Janigo. I can buy it for you if yeah. you want. Yeah. Janigo is uh, where she lives. Where I live. Yeah. <laughs> it's super beautiful. You you can see all the whole city. The whole yeah. city. Oh, it's like you have a skyline. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like how did you? <laughs> So how many days are you going to stay in Japan? Another 10 days. We're going tonight to Kyoto. Oh. Then wow. we're going to stay there like four, four days. Uh -huh. Then we wanted to go to the Fuji. Oh, <laughs> best route for yeah. tourists, I think. Go to Kyoto. Also. Kyoto, Nara. Nara, yeah. And then uh, Mount Fuji. Fuji. Is also good. I don't eat sushi. I'm allergic to raw oh, fish, really? which, is, which implies a lot of things like being excluded from your friends because they go sushi eating oh. and then I can't so not right now in, in Japan it's kind of harder hard. yeah because I would like to try it but I yeah. can't yeah. but yeah Japanese food is not like only for sushi you can have like mm, yeah. tempura or mm. like I said takoyaki which, which is delicious I love it yeah we have to try takoyaki also here in Osaka mm -hmm. they do it on, on the street oh. Oh, thank I you. don't know if you like it thank you very much it's, it's nice. I'm gonna try. Okay. Yes. At the first beginning when you asked this, I, I thought like you would do like torture Crazy us things. or something. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. insects. Yeah, no, 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 don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> this is very difficult. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> now you can inform Italians and Austrians that <laughs> yes. Japanese food is not only sushi but also mm, yeah. mm, sukiyaki. This is the garden. most common stereotype about Japanese yeah. in Europe. Like you just sushi ramen, ramen, ramen <laughs> sushi. Yes, stop. Yeah. <laughs> the meat is very, it's very good. I mean, it's much better than in oh, Europe yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. We have a um, kind of a similar stereotype. When, I mean, when you say Italian kid, like food, it's pizza. Everyone knows pizza, but we have a lot of. A lot more actually. You stay in a foreign country for a long time, right? You miss Italian food, so what is the yes. things you want to eat first <laughs> well, when you get home? I, I, I usually cook, so oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I would die because uh. um, the Austrian food is very. Um, you, know? <laughs> you stay in uh, Vienna. It's a very beautiful city, and mm. um, it's not. It's still. It's not so touristic, so it's still authentic. Mm -hmm. um, they have a lot of history too, and um, awesome. yeah, Austrians are different from Germans. Mm -hmm. They're more yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you compare it to the other northern countries, mm -hmm. so I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. I know the first Italian who came here mm -hmm. and opened the first restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Carmine. Do you know the name of the restaurant? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember really the name, but the, the his name is. Carmine uh, Cozzolino. You know him? I don't know. No? Pagura's like, ah, okay, okay. Ah, it's a good order. Ah, I went there. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was nice. That's nice. Oh, I didn't know that. This is the one. Yeah, he was the first Italian mm -hmm. to come to, to Tokyo and, and to open the yeah. restaurant. And okay, okay. he also he did the uh, Aikido. Ah, because mm -hmm. uh, we do martial arts, uh -huh. which is a uh, black belt of karate. Yeah, <laughs> black belt. Black belt. So <laughs> you cannot make her angry. Yeah, no, I see. <laughs> very calm. <laughs> Not violent at all. <laughs> <laughs> you do what, what side do you do? Yeah. Shotokan. Shotokan. Ah, Shotokan. Yeah. yeah. Since um, 13 years. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Is it popular to do like karate in your country? Mm. Not for girls. Not for girls, right? Mm. Because uh -huh. it's a very nice sport. Mm. It gives you a lot and it, they teach you a lot about. It's not just a sport, it's like a discipline. Ah, yes. you, it was a very nice group in Rome. Um, they're all my friends now. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> and uh, this year I started in Vienna as well, mm. which was fun too, because you recognize, I mean, there's different cultures, but um, mm -hmm. the style is, is the same, so it's like a common language for all, you know, oh, yeah. internationally. You know. Martial arts? Martial arts, yes. Yeah. I did uh, Aikido. Aikido. And then uh, I did also Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, box. Oh, okay. Wow. But now I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> I just work. You just work. Yeah, work, work, work. <laughs> what do you do? What's your uh, job? I run uh, an Italian restaurant. Oh, you run an Italian restaurant? Yes. Yeah, nearby Rome. Uh huh. He works like 24 7. How do you say? Delicious in Japanese? Oishi. Yes. Oishi. <laughs> Oishi. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you, why you decided to come to Japan this time? Yeah, because um, he, he, he lived here 10 years ago. Uh, and then he wanted to go back. It was very um, nostalgic. You know, and, um, and he said we would go and if I wanted to come with him. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday we had drunk. Yeah, in the in Jugaoka. Oh, okay. Because I used to live there. Oh, <laughs> I, I have my own uh, trusty ramen place. Oh. <laughs> the flavor was the same of ten years ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we came in August. And it's really hot. Like Atsui. It's not the best time to visit um, because it's too hot. <laughs> How about the weather in the Europe right now? I mean, in Italy. Yeah. In Italy is 39. Oh. But Even higher. Yeah, but yeah. in Japan there's yes, more humidity, so it's hotter. Uh, it's like heavy. heavy yeah, air. yeah, yeah. You, you guys understand? Spanish? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we yes. understand. Yeah. Okay, the word uh, it's a new Latin language, so mm -hmm. of course the language is very, very similar, but some words are. They sound the same, but they have a different meaning. Oh. So sometimes it's super embarrassing because <laughs> you say things and people understand oh. the other thing. And okay. What is the main main food, main menu in your restaurant? It's like uh, <laughs> you have this. It's a very good place. There's a very nice food. Actually, the problem in Italy is like we have a very nice, very um, good food culture, you know. Mm. But now if you go to Rome, you just have. You never have good restaurants in the center because we are overflowed by, by tourists and uh, so people they don't like Italians or foreigners, you know, they open a restaurant and they don't the quality is like, very low because they have like five thousand people a day, you know, so they don't give a crap, you know, about quality. And his restaurant is a bit outside of Rome, so you meet, they have always the same people, you know, so of course the quality is much higher and you eat very well. I went there so. Yeah. I must say it's, uh, it's a nice, it's a nice place. Thank you. <laughs> this and uh, you have the pictures of. Uh, it's big. Yeah, but it's uh, also an hotel. Hotel. Yeah, it's a hotel, oh, but so. inside we have the restaurant. Oh, okay, okay. You can see the pictures of our our dishes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have like risotto and pasta. Yeah. And seafood also. Roman typical. Uh, uh, food is like carbonara, mm -hmm. egg and pork, and uh, tomato chana. So what's the name of your restaurant? Al Traguardo. Al Traguardo, yeah. So next time you come to Rome, yeah. you're my guest. Visit. <laughs> yeah, I visit you, yeah.
It was very good. Yes. Yeah, really we good. liked it. The meat is, is really good. The meat is delicious. Delicious. Yes. Yeah. Ciao. 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 <laughs>